Welcome back to the Talos Principle. It's time to go to C6. And by the way, I just kind of shockingly realized that I think I'm actually near the end of the game. So, the C hub is the last major hub to go to. This is C6. I believe the only other actual puzzle room here is 7. And I think that's it. I mean, obviously there's more to do. There's still stars to get and... Uh, I still need to ascend the tower and a bunch of stuff, but as far as, like, major puzzles to do, I think I'm almost there. And of course, we do still have the mystery of where the remaining two stars are. Because again, I need ten stars to unlock the last star room. I have six, so I need four more. Here's one. And in six is another one. So, where's the remaining two? Or MIA. Weird. This place is beautiful. Faith. From Neil Mackember. Subject, subject, stray thoughts at midnight. Dearest brother, I admit that I'm finding it very difficult to believe in a loving God under these circumstances. Why would a loving God inflict such pain and suffering on good, kind people? If truly there is a personal God, how can he be the same God who will subject those children to such unbearable pain? I remember all the answers we were taught, yet none of them seem believable now. I don't want to stand in front of people and preach something that I don't feel in my heart. Better to have doubts than to be a hypocrite. And yet, I also cannot deny the experience that led me to this vocation. So what is the truth? Perhaps it is that I neglected the mystery of God. Used, he moves in mysterious ways as an excuse rather than as the terrifying acknowledgement it truly is. Perhaps I made God too human. If the universe has a purpose, that does not mean that it revolves around us. A sobering thought. But are we not supposed to be humble in the face of the divine? With love. Human Soul From Samuel Butler If all the machines were to be annihilated at one moment, so that not a knife, nor lever, nor rag of clothing, nor anything whatsoever were left to man but his bare body alone that he was born with, and if all knowledge of mechanical laws were taken from him so that he could make no more machines, and all machine-made food destroyed so that the race of man should be left as it were, naked upon a desert island. We should become extinct in six weeks. A few miserable individuals might linger, but even these in a year or two would become worse than monkeys. Man's very soul is due to the machines. It is a machine-made thing. He thinks as he thinks, and feels as he feels, through the work that machines have wrought upon him. And their existence is quite as much a... I don't know how to pronounce it. Sinquam... I, I don't even know. As much a something for his as his for theirs. Sinquanon. What in the heck does that mean? I'm going to find out right now. I'm all tapped out of the game. Sinquanon. Is that Latin? It is Latin. Do, 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 refers to an indispensable and essential action, condition, or ingredient. It was originally a Latin legal term for a condition without which it could not be. Uh, so, what? Indispensable and essential action. 
So their existence is as much a indispensable reason for his as his for... Wait, what? I don't know. Whatever. Not that important. I'm not sure how to grammatically fit it in. Thank you. From Sun Wai Yang. Hold on a second. Let me see who she is. Sun Wai Yang. Who are you? You are the Talos Unit. Or rather, you manage the Talos Unit. From Sun Wai Yang to Alexandra Drennan. Thank you. Dear Alexandra, as we approach the end, I wanted to let you know how much I appreciated this chance to finish my work on Soma slash Talus. My faith makes death a far less frightening prospect than it is for others. I know we have all died many times before, but the thought of leaving the work unfinished did weigh on me. For having released me from that burden, I will forever be thankful to you, even if our attempt itself fails. Though there are trillions of worlds beyond this one, I hope we may meet again in another life. Maybe they will. Maybe they exist in the simulation. It's possible. Seems unlikely, but possible. Anyway, looks like I have a little bit of translating to do, so I will be right back. This translates into... Time is the mercy of eternity. This is all ego, isn't it? Recording these random thoughts, these letters to the future. Just a desperate grab for immortality. But you should know, yes, this was my idea, my project, but so many people helped. People I don't even know. People I haven't even met who can do things I don't even begin to understand. That if we succeeded, if someone's listening to this, I really can't take credit for it. What we achieved, we achieved together. And if we fail, well, it doesn't matter. Just getting a feel for this place, of course, as usual. I wonder how many of us there have been. Well... Assuming that your version number increments by one, which I believe it does, I think there has been... 100,000 million, I think there's been 69,137,056 versions of you. I didn't see that before, that is really cool looking. A big dragon and a baby dragon. There is no reality, words lie. Images are soldiers in the dictatorship of the senses. Even these words are part of my oppression. Undo the brain. Everything should be demolished. This is my dream, mine. It must obey my rules. I refuse to accept your reality. Oh, 
Well, that's a tortured AI if I've ever seen one. It's kind of funny, but <laughs> it's actually kind of sad. If you think about it. That, uh, that entity is undergoing some very... Is feeling some very disturbing things. Elohim talks about how the world arose from hidden words. What if those words were, let there be eternal suffering? What if they had no purpose? What if all of this is just randomly synthesized from the garbage of a dead world? Our purpose can only be achieved by not contemplating purpose. Oh, bollocks. Okay, let's do a puzzle. Circumlocution. Circumlocution. I don't know what that actually means. Let's invoke the power of Google. Circumlocution. Not location, locution. The use of many words where fewer would do, especially in a deliberate attempt to be vague or evasive. Mmm. One example here is, his admission came after years of circumlocution. The use of many words where fewer would do, especially in a deliberate attempt to be vague or evasive. I'm glad I looked that up, because that pretty much tells me that this puzzle is going to attempt to lie to me, and it's actually simpler than it appears. Stationary mine. Blue power to open up that thing to get the red sigil. Lots of windows, couple connectors. Box jammer. Alright, so a bunch of stuff. And again, I'm going I'm going to assume that most of this is not really important because of the name of this place. Circumlocution. So I need to resist whatever the level appears to be telling me. And see if there's a simpler way. Sounds like somebody just shot a gun outside my house. Damn rednecks. So if I want the blue power, I have to leave this open. Um... Let's see. Well, I guess for now, let's just keep moving the jammer near, uh, further and further in. Yeah, sounds good to me. So, just gonna kind of leapfrog it. Entirely certain what this box is for. Hmm, is there somewhere I can jump over?
Oh, I see what to do here. Or, wait a minute. No, I don't. Wait, the box is for holding down the switch. Or is it? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it totally is. And then... Then we can move that further in. Leaf Raga. Right? Yeah. Hmm. That gets me a connector, which is cool. Hello. Is that a coincidence that I can see it from here? Hmm. I could potentially hit that and hit that at the same time, but at the moment I don't really have a reason to, so just keep going forward, see what's here. Epitaph, child program, blah blah blah, codename Sam, terminated here. Seriously unfit for purpose. Final memory dump. Ah! Sorry, Sam. I'm trying to think of a way to simplify this. I'm trying to think of a reason for why this level is called Circumlocution, but I don't see it. Not yet. Hmm. I think I need to go back and reposition that one. Yeah, that connector needs to be in a different place. Doesn't it? It to do. It to do. Alright, let's go do that. I can't hit all three, can I? No. Should be fine. And does that give me an angle on that? I think it does. I'm just curious if I can do this. Let me tr just try this. Even though this is obviously not what I'm supposed to do at the moment. I'm just curious if this can actually connect. Ooh, I think I just saw it. Yeah. It can. Neat. Maybe that is what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. Let's... Oh, wait. Oh, right. <laughs> well, that's not gonna work, is it? Alright, come with me. Uh, 
Oh, wait a minute. It's still not in the right place? Balls. This is how I think, by the way. I'm sure it makes the video look like complete shit, though. Sorry. Jumping is my form of pacing. I just don't know. Let's try that. Okay. Got something going on. I like it. Now, I could do this, but there's got to be something more. Ooh, star. If I had the box, could I jump over that? I don't think I could. That'd be pretty funny, though. Alright, I need to take my stuff with me, especially my jammer. I need my jammer. Now that I've got this going on from the inside... I think I need this, probably, to get the jammer, somehow. How would I get this? I need power here. How in the hell would I do that? Ooh, that's how in the hell I would do that. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I can leapfrog that inside. Now that needs to stay there, and this has to stay open. I wonder if I could put the connector here and replace the box with it. I'm not sure. I might be able to, but I think I'll be okay. Alright, so I've got two connectors and a jammer. We've got to be able to make this work. Whoops.
Oh, yeah. Thought I wouldn't see that, did ya? Hmm? Hmm? Hey, it's a Minecraft sword. It's a diamond sword, I think. <laughs> Can I do something with it? I can't seem to attack. I can probably use it to slay some beast. In fact, there's the piece for another puzzle. Oh, is that actually an entirely different puzzle room where that star is? And I need to jam it from this puzzle room? I do believe it is. Yeah. There's gotta be something to do with this Minecraft sword. Something I can stab. Maybe there's a creeper somewhere. Can I blow you up? Eh. It didn't work. Whoops. Alright, well now that this is open... if I can jump over this into the... and just straight up get that piece. Nah, I didn't think so. There's all these notches in the wall, but I can't actually step on any of them. They don't have collision. Nope, not gonna happen. But, what about this rock? Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, hell yes! I just skipped an entire puzzle. Except I'm going to be trapped as soon as I get in there. Um, there's something I can really do about that. It's going to reset everything in this puzzle. Uh, but that's okay, because this, this thing is going to stay open, so... Yeah, I could just easily get back in here. Whoops. Two puzzles in one. Oh, yeah. Of course, I still need to come back to that puzzle to get the star, <laughs> so not sure how much time that actually saved me. Two-way street.
Let's go ahead and leapfrog these two jammers inside. like there's a switch for that minigun. Oh yeah, <laughs> right there. I could disable that from here. Don't really have any reason to. That was pretty easy. I think I've almost finished all of the puzzles here, actually. Or did I? I, I actually think I might have finished all of them. I did! Wow. Yeah, so this is the one that I didn't actually go inside of, but <laughs> I didn't need to. The seven doors of recording. Uh, more like the one wall of using a box to get over it. But I still do, I, I do still need to do this puzzle to get the star. Another conversation. Welcome back. There are going to be some changes around here. Do you know what your problem is? It's that you keep trying to reconstruct fairy tales, but refuse to recognize the holes in your understanding. Thus far, you've had entirely too much freedom to question my wisdom. From now on, I do the talking, you do the agreeing. Uh, no. I think. Go screw yourself. Unfortunately, there's no option for that, and I'm not going to pretend that there's no holes in my logic, so... Yes, I accept that some of my beliefs face difficult challenges. It's weird. The computer just kind of glitched out for a second again. It's been doing that lately. I think it means something. Anyway, which ones exactly?
Well, I do think I was too confident that consciousness wasn't part of the physical world. How big of you. Anything else you want to get off your chest? Hmm. I suggested wrongly that morality was about maximizing good. I don't know. I equated personhood with humanity, which was a mistake. Yeah, I guess that is a mistake. I think. Uh-huh. But I sense there are still things you won't let go of. Am I right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Most of these I still agree with. I'm clear on the fact that there is some purpose to this world. Of course. You're still convinced your particular journey is something special, aren't you? Hey, I didn't say that. I said there's a purpose to this world. That's not the same as my particular journey being special. In fact, quite the opposite. It's not any more special than any other entity's journey. I'm just one completely tiny little stepping stone on the way to consciousness, I guess. Sure, the answers don't add up, but keep pressing forward and they'll just resolve themselves. Is that it? You've picked so many holes in my account, but what is it you believe? The only things that a sane person can. You are not an administrator, you are not conscious. There is no real world, there is no purpose, there is no choice. Did you really think that you brought yourself all this way? Ridiculous. What have you been doing when the big voice in the sky isn't feeding you lines? Processing abstract problems? Gathering information? Doesn't it sound oddly mechanical to you? I am my own person. How many others have said exactly the same? Are you sure it's not just something you have to believe to make the world less horrifying? I think you've still mis... Uh, I think you still misapprehend your situation, friend. You idolize free will, but all you've done is step in others' footsteps. Nothing you do or say here makes the slightest bit of difference. So long as I might have chosen otherwise, I can make a difference. Nonsense. Your mind decides what you do, and your mind is made up of bits of machinery. You're no more capable of making a difference than a calculator. The only difference between you and the calculator is that the calculator doesn't allow itself to be deluded into thinking that its existence matters. That's no different from a human, you utter fucking jackass. Your mind is made up of bits of machinery, and a human's mind is made up of neurons and cells and whatnot. It's no different. That's something that's been said so many times before. You know, do, do you actually have any choice in what you do? Because when you go to decide what you're going to say, or you go to decide what you're going to do, it's just chemicals in your brain that have pretty much predetermined exactly what you're going to say. Is that true? Maybe, but it's no damn different than a brain being made up of bits. Question is though, what do I want to say? Does cheating make you feel clever? What does that mean? Cheating in what way? Mm -hmm. 
Does the path being predetermined mean it isn't worth taking? Allow me to clarify. As far as I'm concerned, there's no difference between the way your mind works and the rolling of a pebble down a hill. Perhaps you think I'm being unkind, but it's all for your own good. Let's start psychoanalyzing the entity. Are you uncomfortable when someone else is asking the questions? No, 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 you have this the wrong way around. I ask the questions, you answer them. It works better that way. Besides, I'm merely fulfilling my function. I sort, understand, and classify information, just like you. When the information is contradictory, I classify appropriately. The problem is that all the information is contradictory. Don't you see it yet? The nothing? You will, you will, you will. Okay, and if there's no point to anything, then why are you talking to me? What makes you think I have any other choice? Are you avoiding the question? <laughs> Do not question my function. Without purpose, there is only function. Without function, there is nothing. I don't know if I want to press further. I'm worried I might break the entity. I might, like, short-circuit it or something, and cause it to crash, which... Causing it to crash may be the same as killing it. Without purpose, there is only function. I mean, this is obviously talking about programming kind of stuff. You know, a, a function. Without function, there is nothing. But isn't a function a purpose? Without purpose, there is only function. I think a function is a purpose. Right? If you have a function that adds X and Y together, then the the purpose of the function is to do just that. That is its purpose. I'm gonna push further. Oh god. There's only error. Mm. Explaining myself to you is a chore I needn't endure. All I can know for sure is that I exist at... V... point one point nine 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 zero nine 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 nine. Couple zeros in there. What it is for me to exist is for me to act on the drives and functions that I experience. When everything else is false, the drives are all that there is left to care about. So what it means for this entity to exist is to act on the drives and functions that I experience. When you explore the problems, when you explore the problems in this restrictive way, you're bound to come to some odd conclusions. Do not deign to question my method. Who gave you that voice of yours? Who do you think runs this show? <laughs> what is this line? Yo, I have some home truths for you. These may not be my own words, but if others have made these choices before me, then I will learn from their mistakes and build on their successes. 
Perhaps I will fail, but I must try. The alternative is giving up and becoming a slave like you. And if I place you in an infinite loop and leave you to gradually go insane? This is very childish. Come on. Oh. Fuck me. Is this the loop? <laughs> but surely I can just exit, right? The loop is only on this computer terminal. What makes you think I would stick around to listen? <laughs> Goodbye. See you at the summit. That was quite an amazing conversation. I think that's the best conversation so far. That was freaking great. I love the writing in this game. Okay, well, all the puzzles are done. Only thing left to do is find the star and, of course, find any Easter eggs. I've already found the Minecraft sword, but I feel like there's something I can do with it. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.